Today we will be able to run DeepSeek locally on our computer without sending anything to the cloud. We are going to see how easy it is to install and run AI locally on our computers without sharing our data with anyone. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. Let's go to our computer and open our browser and search for LM Studio. Once we are on the website, just download it for Windows 11. But if you have a Mac or Linux, you will be able to use it as well. Just choose the version that you want. Once we have downloaded LM Studio, we just need to install the app like we do with any other Windows app. And as soon as it's installed, it's ready to use. But we still need a model. Now we will be using DeepSeek because it is open source, but there are a lot more language models which are free to use. Now, the biggest difference between DeepSeek, OpenAI, ChatGPT, or even Google Gemini is that DeepSeek is open source, while the other two are closed, they are private. So with open source, we can use, so with open source, anyone can use. DeepSeek has seven different versions, ranging from 1.5b to 671b. And the b means billions of parameters, which means that the more we have, the smarter is the model. For example, if you go online to DeepSeek website, you will be using the 671b, which is 671 billions of parameters. And that one is just impossible to run in our hours. So most people will be able to run models between 1.5b up to 14b, while those with an RTX 5090, for example, will be able to run comfortably the 32p. Here I'm using the RTX 5080, so I will be comfortable using the 14b. It would be a push if I went 32b. So we just need to search for DeepSeek inside LM Studio and we can pick between 1.5, 7b, 14b. Now the app will tell us if the computer will be able to handle it or not. We can see a green rocket which means that we are good to go and if it's red we are not good to go now once we select the model just click download wait for it to finish and then load the model which will take a few minutes once it's finished everything now is running locally on our pc nothing gets sent anywhere so if you are working with sensitive documents or private information this is the best way to use ai without sending anything to anyone. I've done some tests and so far I'm really impressed with the results. While the responses aren't as smart as the 671B model in some cases, they are, in my opinion, more than enough for the everyday tasks that I do. The main limitation that I did find were on the conversation isn't infinitive like we can find on the online version, which I haven't found any limit so far at least. So after about 2000 tokens, more or less, locally here on my computer, the model stops and it requires a refresh or to clean up the actual conversation. But for most tasks, this won't be any issue whatsoever. So if you decide to try it out or if you have tried it out already, leave a comment down below how are you using it and what is the hardware that you are using windows mac os linux and are you with a rtx 5080 superior inferior are you having a lot of fun do you find any limitations on your particular case for work all of that which is great to share here with this awesome community if you found the video helpful don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one